Nearly everyone has experienced back pain, and for some, it is chronic pain. Surgery to relieve the pain is usually considered a last option. Now, new, less invasive procedures are offering promise for patients with certain types of back pain. The University of Colorado is one of a handful of centers across the United States involved in a clinical trial looking at one of these procedures. Whether you have it or hope to treat it, you know it's awful. It kind of takes over. You know, you live by how much pain you're in that particular day. and It affects your mood. It affects your personality. It, it changes how grumpy you are on a on a day-to-day -day basis. And, and that, over time, becomes chronically debilitating. All right. Erin was in that place. Not anymore. Her back pain used to limit her life as a mom, as a wife, and an employee. Here is the quick backstory to her backstory. I had all kinds of different tests done. I've done chiropractor, I've done acupuncture, I've done massage, I've done Pilates, I've done all, multiple kinds of injections, um, and nothing, nothing seemed to help. Most typically it's in the buttocks area. It starts a little bit on the side of the spine and then goes down the back of the leg through the buttocks area. Very common and yet often misdiagnosed. What is blamed on the spine or the hip may very well be the SI joint. The joint between the sacrum and the iliac bone is the sacroiliac joint or the SI joint. That joint really doesn't move or isn't supposed to move in most adults. Injections into the SI joint can properly diagnose the pain. SI fusion is an option, a surgery that has evolved over the years. We had to make big incisions and, and large exposures to get down to the joints, and it would be a very morbid procedure to clean out the joints, to try to put plates and screws across the joint, put bone graft in there, try to get it to fuse. With this newer procedure, we take these metal implants which are specially designed with a porous coating, and we use our navigation system to minimally invasively put them across the SI joint and stabilize the joint. Dr. Patel has been doing the fusion surgery for a few years now. Initially, he was a reluctant believer. And I was pleasantly surprised. I was impressed with how much benefit we were able to get them. Very super careful because they're tiny. Aaron had the surgery six months ago. Six weeks later, the crutches were gone and Aaron was back to her life, no longer letting her back control her life. They're so used to me having to say I can't do something because my back hurts. It's nice to not have to worry about having back pain to just say, yeah, you know, I can, I can do it. Dr. Patel says it is critical that you get the proper diagnosis before you consider any surgical procedure. The clinical trial at CU will compare the SI fusion to physical therapy, injections, other manipulations, and see what is the most benefit for people with this type of pain. Also, we have something is really cool on our website right now to help anyone with back pain. Nine tips to avoid back pain and nine myths about back pain. Both lists are, lists are really helpful and they're worth sharing with a friend, somebody that might have back pain and many of us know someone in that position. Oh man, please know so, so many nine people. tips and nine myths and that'll provide more answers to you, for you about that, about back pain. Is it's one of so the myths common. never have surgery? Is that one of the myths? Well, the, the myths are about surgery is always an answer because in Dr. Patel, who's a spine surgeon, said you really have to think about this. Even this fusion, which is much less invasive, he wants his patients to be on crutches for six weeks. Oh, really? He uh. says that he's very conservative when it mm. comes to that. Um, so it's a lot to consider. Erin is doing great. Um, she said just in an email today, hey, I'm, an enjoy I'm enjoying summer. I'm having How a ball. About that? So it's, How about it's that? good for, you know, but it's the proper diagnosis. And he really emphasized that. Not everyone has that SI joint, but many people do, and it's misdiagnosed. How many people do we know with back pain? I mean, Kim and I know including my colleague here. We All know a lot of someone, people with back pain. Lots of people, just really yeah. common. So yeah. injury, it could be a car crash, it could be something that, just life. Maybe an answer, I hope so. Or sitting. Or sitting, yes. We need to stand up more That's often. right, we, yes, we do.